Garcia in the light. Katie. Now you heard Sean Porter say earlier he expects in the brown. Ryan Garcia to come out aggressive, and I agree. Against Tank Davis early. That ultimately cost him, but I expect to see the same verse. Ryan Garcia was moving forward, trying to end the fight against Devin Haney. Yeah, Ryan Garcia starts off fast, but it also he got dropped early against Tank Davis. So it could work against him. He gets dropped early against Luke Kent. Devin Haney doesn't have the power, but he doesn't have the accuracy and timing. And by Garcia, rocks Haney early. Goes. If you're that aggressive, get over. That's where they stand right now. He hurt Haney bad, but he's still disciplined. And I love the fact that Ryan Garcia is still staying pulling enough to wait it out. I like that. Gun shy and shook. That power's real. Haney looks a little gun shy. Lethal left hand by Ryan Garcia. There's the jab from Haney. He can do that all night long. What a start to this fight. Crowd still buzzing. And now it's Haney on the front foot. Might have been a big adrenaline dump there for Garcia. Garcia, zero for Haney. 
Got to be measured, though, Sergio. He knows that left hook is just waiting. There's a right hand for Haney. He's going to land again. What? What? Step back. Step back. Bill Haney. In the corner after that last round, saying, get under that. Using his legs and dipping. What he needs right there is you got to throw away. Throw the jab, then get under that hook. They want to Haney. A punch, and you got to bait that left hook. You got to use it against Ryan Garcia. So if you can throw the right hand and go under it, then, then he's going to be able to disappear. Because it's a, it's a quick rap trap type left hook. Damage and that hook. A balance. Big right hand for Devin Haney. As if the left hook's coming. Okay, big right hand and landed, but he should still get. Garcia's a re he checks him right away, so you can use it against him if you dip down, back the puncher. He just reacts with that left. Make a miss, make a fall off balance, then attack him and flank him from the side. And a lot of foot feints. Haney's gonna lead him. A lot more of those, to tell you the truth, and what Garcia has in mind. We're starting to see the shoulder roll again. Watch out, Ryan Garcia. We're, we're in round two. And Garcia has been setting up. Set up after that last sequence. Kind of with that foot. Seen it yet, Chris, but I hope I don't. Because right now. Back. Shoulder out. I haven't really. This is Ryan Garcia that, that we need to see going forward. Twice. Let's see if Garcia goes to the. He's intimidating, and he's making Haney think the body. You know. Haney is going to be checking that chin. Garcia going to go to the rib cage. Okay, I, I see him pulling back. It's not a shot. Making sure he doesn't get caught with the left hook again. Could be an opening for Garcia. Well, yeah, Maddox, but I see him pulling back, trying to hide behind that left hook. Thanks from Haney. Big swing and a miss for Garcia. Good fit. Breathe, breathe, Like, focus on him. Focus on him. What you're doing is you're watching him. You don't watch him fight you. Keep that in. Boom, boom. We're getting, we're getting. We are getting to the line. We are getting. Boom, 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 boom. Step to the side. Keep it right. Or keep it right. Take them both. Keep your jab popping. Right? Keep, keep. We're going to be all right. Stop. Don't let him. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Because what's happening is. Uh, no. Listen, don't relax. And here we go. It's a chess match between two. Chess time, that punch lands. Haney's not reacting good. Look, that's Masters right here. There's that left hook right on the temple. Every, there it is right there. Haney landed the right hand, but the left hook over power. You see it, even if it's thrown with 50%, it seems it. The left hook for games to affect yeah. Haney. It's a twitchy left hook. And he throws it. Right. Devin Haney should be looking. Got it in the head. Luke Campbell got in the body. And there's that overhead. But I want to see more jabs. Set that. Set that punch up. The thing about Ryan Garcia, he does fight straight up, upright.
of the world, Saturday, May 18th. It's on. Purchase it now. He's in the building. Iron Mike. And speaking of heavyweight champion Tyson. Field. And another hope. And the real deal. Evander Holy for Famer. Bernard Hopkins. Part of Golden Boy, of course. Jones Jr. Pensacola's finest. How about first? And Roy Jones. Four Hall of Famers for you, Sergio. Hall of Famers. I'm talking about legend. Look at some boxing royalty right now. And he says he's. Yeah, that's greatness. We're in the presence of. He's a future Hall of Famer as well. Hard to argue. He's already won the chip here at 140. And is doing the business with an undisputed title at 135. Holds a chance on Garcia. At least so far. But here comes me again. I said I was going to do the right hand. I was going to be the key. King Rai. And it's the right hand landing. I'm hurting him. The Ryan Garcia. And he's proving that right now. Miss Ruff. Stay on the tip. Stay on the tip. Let's go. Time now. Haney tried to laugh that off. But one. The best moment for Ryan Garcia since Ralph is that Ryan can be really good in spurts, right? What we've learned so far is really good in the first 30 seconds to a minute at the start of this round. But as each round has progressed, Devin in the first round, he was really good in the first 30 seconds. He started to move forward and take over. A lot of G for the later rounds. Not a movement from Ryan. You wonder if that's going to zap some of his energy. That's a knock on, on Ryan Garcia. Yes, he has speed. Yes, he has a lot of champions. People in the know say that he's a one-trick pony. Power. Yes, he has popularity. But a lot of fighters drink his that left hand. But the right hand is a money punch right now. A shoulder roll. And there's a... To the body, I mean, right. Garcia turn turning back, his, right? yeah, he can't. Can. It's Garcia turning his back. Step back. Step back. Step back. It's gonna be there all day if Garcia insists on trying to. There it is, right there. That right hook hide on that right side all the time. What do you do in a situation? His head close to the canvas and turning his back to them. Like that, Sergio, where Ryan is literally dropping. You take what he gives you. You take what he gives you. And that... Constantly moving is. So that's it. That left side. Keep banging away. Garcia, but he's not doing much with that movement. That chopping right hand, that's down. Those are dangerous right hands, but this right here is the way at the left side of the body of Ryan Garcia. He gets what we don't want to see, and that's what I want to see from Haney. Keep banging him. The referee Harvey Dock, though, wouldn't let him take it. He's giving him take it because it's a legal punch. If you get Sergio, so you can't hit him back there. Hey, listen, keep going down there. You remember Canelo was having issues with Caleb Plant, but Caleb, sooner or later, it's going to land upstairs. Plank ain't giving him that left side. Canelo kept taking it. Wait. You know, 
Chris Mannix is with Bill. Oh, good. Yeah, Very good. Yeah, yeah. He started out strong. Haney. Bill halfway through the fight. How do you think it's going? He started out strong. How bad? Knowing that you still have three 
four rounds to go. Now you gotta get him. You gotta catch him slipping again. You gotta catch him with that moment. Right. Now, yeah, you, that, that moment passed. That moment passed. Hook. But Santa with the right hands. Tinnick, check him with that hook. Maybe he can lure him in with that. Garcia usually likes throwing away the right hand just to bait opponents. And go back with the speed jabs as well. Three wins apiece. This is game. In the amateurs, they fought six times. Three, seven, and it could still go either way. What a fight. We're worried about the lights are on and the bell rings. This man. The behavior outside the ring of Ryan Garcia, but when he can fight, man, he can fight. And it's something we just go, was go, a Dan, bad look. It head. was disappointing, but Scott's at the top of the show. Missing the weight the way he did, it, it doesn't change that. The fact that he can win has the arsenal to win this fight. This fight, he can't win a title, but he's certainly still... Haney complaining about holding. Took the Ryan Garcia. The magic left, but is that all he has? No, he, he has a right hand. Too. If you don't turn your back. Oh. And that's what, that's what's it landing on Haney. Stop. Wait, stop. Stop. Let go. Devin Haney facing adversity. Oh. That he's never had to face before here tonight. Haney is winning on jabs, but power. 
who began boxing at the punches go to the man from Victorville, California, the age of eight. The six. There you go, Chad, surround eight, Haney, 35, Garcia. Ooh. And Brian took advantage. Oh, Haney got caught there, a little indecisive. See that look, there you go. That's what I mean, and ripping that body right there. And you're Garcia right. giving it to you. Keep telling you earlier, Todd, that's exactly what Haney should be doing. Just ain't taking it. And Aaron Harvey got to say that's legal. Couple clean shot. Loving what they're seeing here. Crowd just. In New York, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, Sergio. But who's going to be Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia here at the bar to make it tonight in this barn burner between Clay Center as we enter round two? But he's got much ways to play sleep. Okay. Get the head to back. Step in. Look. Keep it going on circles. Okay. Look. Man. Circle hard. And there's the body shots right there. Shot. Keep digging away right there. I called for that earlier. Those are legal shots. You heard it from the referee, Harvey Dock. Those are legal shots because that's going to keep Brian Garcia right there in that same shot. Oh, position. Those shots hurt right there. Over there, over there. Border, but nothing's cooling down this fight right now. Got some ice in the crowd. Three rounds left. Chris Mannix's scorecard through nine rounds. 683, but Ryan Garcia is effective just like rounds. Devin Haney's picked up the pace the last two rounds, 80 seconds, but just not happening as frequently as it may. Second time, it's Devin Haney! Needs to happen. Oh, and he's got it locked again, and down for it! Six, seven, eight, him. two and a half minutes to go in this round. The body shot, and his skill is in control, but his chin and his legs are betraying by Ryan Garcia.
she's just walking through the front door. Doesn't care too much confidence. And who knows how mattering in this fight. Those three extra pounds are... Thought Ryan Garcia was going to do this. How many people... Did it. Boom! Right there! 
Garcia the tip of the chin. The legs are shot. Money in the bank all day. Every day when it comes to rock. The legs are shot. The confidence is gone. You know, you could say that gone on Devin Haney. One more knockdown. This fight's over. Ryan Garcia is a one-trick pony that he's only got. It's all you need. Yeah, but it's a right hand that sets it up. See right there. The right up. The left hand. When the left hand is that good, sometimes that cut. Who would have thought it needs a knockout to win? Here's Chris Bay. Round 12. It would be Devin Haney that needs a scorecard. 103, 108 rounds with the knockdowns have given Ryan Garcia. No two in favor of Ryan Garcia. Back to back the lead on my scorecard. Boy, I, I really think it should be a wider discrepancy than that. Close fight. I'm sure many Garcia fans. Still fully landed. 
And look, you got to give Garcia. Haney wasn't going under that left hook, and that's why you can't take shots that cleanly on the tip. Catching him right on the tip of the jaw. What a shot. A stunner. Shot. From Ryan Garcia, but let's look at Chris Mannix's final. He gave round 12 to Haney, and he's got it. from Joe Martinez. New York, enough of this. Let's get the... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 scorecards, and here are the totals. 12 exciting rounds of boxing. We go to the... Judge Max DeLuca scores this contest. Even, 112-112. Eric Marlinski. 114, 18, 109. Your winner, by 110. Robin Taylor, 150. Majority decision. Well, you could say they don't get out of our screen. Could do just that. Canelo, much bigger than the one we just saw, but <laughs> I think the one on the right. And Mungia, Cinco de Mayo weekend live on Dezone. Mannix. Yes, I can. Ryan. Saturday, May 4th. Let's go to Chris. Congratulations. Coming into this fight, I think it's safe. We saw the odds go against you to say that no one believed you could win. 600, 700, 800 to 1. God did. And you just pull off a massive upset. How did you do it? My, my heavenly father, Jesus Christ, I'll give you all the glory. Come on, God, you really thought I was crazy? Hey, you couldn't do it. Without you, I love you so much. You done lost your whole mind. Round, you set the tone. That first left hook knocked Devin. How much, Ryan? From the very first, did that set the tone for this fight? Uh, I mean, God. So whenever I land it, it can't put you out. Or my left hook is my left hook. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, that's blessed by down. How did you know that you, you guys overate everything? You guys hate on me because I'm pretty. And you're gonna be able to land that so frequently. Devin was obviously aware that because, that. Because you 